Hi folks and welcome to the channel and in today's video <coughs> it's going to be sort of unboxing first impressions of the Zoom G6 so let's check this out so yeah <coughs> I say we're going to take a look at the, uh, the Zoom G6 it's quite a heavy little thing well it's not that little I'm hoping not anyway by the size of the box. So yeah, we're gonna unbox this. Plans for this. Like I said, in this video we're just gonna unbox it, take a quick look at it, go through a few of the uh the inbuilt presets, and then we'll do other videos. We'll take a look at some of the amp sims, some of the sort of rock amp sims, some of the uh metal amp sims, some of the clean amp sims if you want me to go through them all individually in separate videos that's fine let me know in the comments and other ideas i've got is to sort of re-record one or two songs using the inbuilt irs and then i'll do a couple more using third party irs and also i might use this for uh, doing ir reviews we'll see further down the line i'll do a full review and see if it's something i'm going to be using for recording most of the time other things we'll do is i'll, I'll show you how to do presets maybe show you how to do an upgrade of the uh, the firmware because as far as i know these it'll still be on f f version one of the firmware and then i've looked on the zoom website and it's now up to version two so we'll have a look at that when we switch it on and then further down the line, I'll do a full review on this. So, let's go down to the table and uh, open this bad boy up. So yeah, this is Zoom G6 guitar multi-effects processor. <laughs> Take your guitar to the next dimension. We'll see about that. <laughs> Apparently it's features, featuring Zoom effects processor technology and Touch screen control and there's a quick shot on the back of it another shot of the front all the highlights in English I think that's French and that's Japanese or Chinese and you also uh, to download a copy of Cubase Elise, I'm assuming that's the light edition, which I think is pretty cool because apparently you can use this as an interface. I've not looked into that yet. Obviously, I've not even got it out of the box. So, before we get into the main thing itself, I think it's nicely packaged out. So it does come with a two pin plug, but you do get the UK adapter for it. And that just slots in like so. All your manuals, all your included items, all your manuals in various different languages. And there's the info for downloading Cubase LE and some warning bits and bobs in there down to the main beast itself oh got to admit that is quite heavy let's get this box out of the way so as you see it's in a little bag little baggy which is meh oh there you go boys and girls there it is now the top bit does feel plasticky, plasticky or plastic, but it does feel quite solid. And as you see, it's done in this carbon fiber look, which I think looks pretty cool. So you've got a button here to go into the different modes. You've got loop, memory, bank, patch, and effects. Four switches down here, and then you've got a tuner as well. And these little buttons here, you can either use them to control the different settings or you can use the touch screen and you've also got an expression pedal nice solid metal base and round on the back so you've got your inputs you've got an 
auxiliary for your MP3s, CD players if you still got them, etc. You've got an effects loop in there, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, you've got steady outputs, but if you're using it as mono, just use the left one. And you can also use that for headphones. Yeah, master volume there. A controlling. I think that's for if you want to add extra expression pedals, etc. Which is cool. And then pull this little flap down here. And that exposes a memory card slot. So that's for updating firmware. And if you want to upload IRs and that such a thing. And say if you, you buy some patches from say chop tones or places like that you can bang them on there as well i presume and then there's a slot that you with a little slot there for a remote so if you and a bluetooth remote you can use that as well and there's also usb c so you can connect this directly to your pc the uh, whatever i don't like you can download an editor directly from the Zoom website and update it via that as well. And I would presume the USB is also for if you want to use this as an interface. There's your on and off button and there's your power socket. So let's go back up top, plug this bad boy in and uh, have a listen through a few different presets. As you can see, I'll probably put the second camera up here somewhere. <laughs> We've got the uh, the Zoom 6 plugged in. It's plugged directly into my audio interface. So that's plugged into the audio box right too. And it's going in straight into Studio One. Let's switch it on first. And see, that's version one. So the firmware needs updating there. So let's plug the guitar in and uh, test a few of these bad boys out. So we'll go with the Ibanez GRG621. Let's grab a pick. Get off. Right, first off, Try the tuner out. There we go, we're all in tune. Go through a few of these presets. So, this first one is Krampus One. <laughs> down the different patches it's these two and then to go up and down the different banks it's these two so if I remember rightly there's four different patches to each bank and then that's a looper and then you've got different effects that looks like we've got uh driving there. Right. Some sort of reverb, I'm not sure what that one is. Trampers one.
that's, that's pretty cool. Velvet. <laughs> If you go just moving up the patches, it goes to the next bank. Well, this is DLX Tremolo. Oh, a bit of octo fuzz. stuff hey ORG crunch I'm gonna presume this is a bit of a bit of an orangey type sound <laughs> Van Halen type sound. Let's have a look, see if we can find something a bit. Massive DZ, so. Let's have a look. I can just presume this is some sort of diesel amp. Gen 7, I'll tell you what, let's get one of the 7 strings plugged in. Got a cork plugged in. There's a quick first look, I'm not sure how quick this video will end up being, <laughs> of the Zoom G6. Like uh, I say, I've only, you, you, this is the first time I've plugged it in. And yeah, I think we'll be able to get some uh, usable tones out of this. And uh, yeah, like I say, the, you'll see plenty of videos on this in the, uh, the coming months. It's not going to be like, oh, I'm going to do a video every week of different amp sims, unless you want me to do that. Go through the various amp sims, the cleans, do a series on the cleans, do a series on the metals, on the more sort of crunchy rock tones. <laughs> yeah, I'd like say I'm going to sort of build a tone up uh, of the inbuilt IRs and re record one or two songs with it and do the same with some third-party IRs and I'm also going to uh, probably do some IR reviews using this. Once I get the firmware downloaded, I'll show you how to do that as well. That'll just be a short couple of minute video. So up to now, yeah, 
Sounds all right. I'm liking that Gen 7 pack, especially with this one. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. And if you want to grab yourself some Evil Wizards merch, there's a link to the merch store down in the description. But that's all from me, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media and you can get my music online. And if you want to support the channel, there's uh, Buy Me A Coffee and PayPal links. They're all down in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen. Keep it loud and keep it heavy.